PMP Focus Area Test Professional and Social Responsibility Practice Question. Total question, 30. Question 1. You are initiated a project to establish windmill in a developed country to celebrate the initiations of the project. The customer arranged a party in which a key customer offered value to you and your all your project team member with a request to complete the project sooner than the actual finish date. What should you do? The answer is reject the offer because it violates the code of ethics and professional conduct. Number two, you overlook a high-level risk in an insurance project and failed to document it in the project charter. If the risk show up during their planning phase, what should be your response? As a project manager, the answer is take the responsibility and evaluate the impact. Number three, you have recently started working as a project manager for a public school construction project. Your analysis show that the cost estimate for the project seems to be unreasonable and it could take at least 25% more funding to complete the project. What should you do if your sponsor wants to undertake the project with another project manager in case you refuse to accept it? The answer is submit detailed facts to the supervisor supporting your argument. Number four, you have recently started working as a project manager for a health insurance portal development project. The project sponsor tells you due to the critical nature of the project, the work must start immediately and complete in two weeks. Based on the instruction, you have started documenting significant constraints and assumptions to perform the project feasibility study. What should you do if you have prepared only the high-level feasibility study? In the given time frame, the answer is refer this issue to the sponsor and explain the need of for more detailed study. Number five, Danny is working as a project manager for the company that provides outsourcing service to bank. Recently, he sent proposal to the local bank in response to the bid for a data warehouse project for which his company lack of expertise. Although his company lack expertise, it has had a good working relation with the bank in all its other projects. Which of the following statement is correct? Considering the proposal Danny submitted, the answer is Danny has violated the PMI code of ethics and professional conduct. Number six, in a software development project, DB, the project manager, completed development of a charter and identification of a stakeholder. DB has collected proprietary information from the vendor during the planning process. What should DB do? when the functional manager from the same organization wants to see this information, the answer is deny the request to protect the confidentiality of the information. Number seven, you are responsible for developing higher level risk assumptions and constraint for your project. You meet with experts in your organization and document various risks in the project However, in reviewing historical data from a previous project, you notice a significant additional risk to your project, one that no one else is aware of. What should you do to continue the project? The answer is document it and make a high-level risk. Number eight, you are using the one-on-one -on -one interview technique to gather high-level risk assumptions and constraints in an infrastructure development project to set up a bank. During the interview process, a key stakeholder tells you that the project might fail due to the lack of support from the local people. What should you do in this situation? The answer is investigate the reason behind the stakeholder comments. Number nine, you have started a project to establish a railroad between two neighboring cities. The state agency that is sponsored this project is heavily committed to completing this project on time and within budget. In support of the agency commitment, you have completed the charter and started identifying stakeholders who would support the project. You would like to gather as many stakeholders as possible and move on the planning piece. 
what should a project manager do while identifying stakeholder in the project? The answer is identify both the positive and negative stakeholder and address concern. Number 10, during the three-year construction project due to the shortage of resources, a project manager has decided to develop a partial work breakdown structure, WBS, on the beginning of the planning piece. The WBS will be expanded as more information becomes known in the near term. What should the project manager do if a key resource criticizes her or her decision develop the partial WBS? The answer is explain to the resource about the ruling wave planning. Number 11, you are using parametric estimating technique to estimate cost for each activity and the total budget in your project. However, a project manager colleague tells you to bump up each estimate by 20% to account for any unknown risk and then submit that as a total budget to the customer. What should you do? The answer is do not inflate the estimate. Number 12, two of your team members are constantly arguing with each other about work assignment the way to their attitude. The project is delayed and pressure is building on other team member. What should you do? The answer is meet with them and understand their concern. Number 13, in an IT project, after several brainstorming session with customer court, establish various project deliverables. Two weeks later, while reviewing the plan, court identifies two similar deliverables and decided to merge them into a single deliverables, what should court do next? The answer is submit the need to manage to the customer. Number 14, the management of a retail business unit has just assigned Mario to compare multiple projects and select the best project that will produce the most value of the unit. Although Mario has worked as a project manager for a long time, he has only limited understanding of project Selection method, what should be the first course of action from Mario in this scenario? The answer is inform the management about lack of knowledge on the project selection method. Number 15, a company hires you to work as a project manager in a foreign country. You discover that you must pay kickback to the official there to get a license from your project. What should you do? The answer is refuse to pay kickback. Number 16, Jack is currently identifying stakeholder in his automobile project while talking to his senior manager. Jack learns that one of the key stakeholder whom he identified on his project is so influential that he or she canceled an IT project before it moved into the planning piece. What should Jack do? With such influential stakeholder, the answer is involve this person from the beginning of the project and manage closely. Number 17, while conducting interviews for the project manager position, you notice that you class, your classmate is one of the prospective candidates. What should you do? Immediately, the answer is inform the interview panel of the relationship. Number 18, one of your team leader inform you that the team member criticize him constantly about the allocations of tasks and the team leader also assert that this team member is also responsible for the delay of many tasks leading to delay in the project schedule. What action should you take as a project manager? The answer is approach the team member and understand his point of view. Number 19, what should you do as a senior project manager if the PMP certification claims by a recently recruited project manager does not appear in the PMI website? The answer is request more information from the new recruit. Number 20, you have recently taken over the project from a PMP certified project manager who was removed from the project due to incompetence and lack of skills. When you happen to meet him outside your building, he starts revoking you from talking his project. He even goes so far as to suggest that your religion played a part on your selection by the management. What should you do? First, the answer is report 
to the Project Management Institute. Number 21, in a manufacturing project, you have requested bid to procure the stainless steel product. However, your sponsor insists that you conduct bidder conference before selecting seller. What mandatory standard in the PMI Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct is met by conducting bidder conference? The answer is fairness. Number 22. In a software development project, you are having joint application develop GE decision to collect product requirements from the stakeholder. Which of the following mandatory standard in the PMI Code of Ethics and professional conduct is met by having GE decision while gathering requirements? The answer is fairness. Number 23, a functional manager in your organization has recently filed a complaint against a junior project manager regarding his project management certification. The functional manager claims that the PMP certification claimed by the junior project manager is invalid and needs to be checked. What should be your response as a senior project manager? The answer is ask your functional manager to provide evidence for his argument. Number 24, while conducting a brainstorming session to identify a stakeholder, a process manager disagree with you on a decision you might regarding the influence and impact of each stakeholder on the project. He even makes some comments against you in front of other stakeholder as a senior project manager what should be your immediate response the answer is propose an immediate meeting between the two of you to resolve differences number 25 you have found you do not yet have an accurate estimate of the number and skills level of resources needed for the scheduled activity build the rock for the data center you need this estimate for presentations of your human resource department later in the week. You have decided to decompose the build rack for data center activity into smaller components such as take equipment out of box, review equipment of per completeness, build frame, and install reels. Then you plan to estimate the resources for its smaller components and combine those estimates onto the aggregate. This is an example of bottom-up estimating. So the answer is bottom-up estimating. Number 26, you are a senior project manager practitioner. You have been giving a chemical manufacturing project that could potentially contaminate the groundwater in the neighboring residential community. After detailed analysis, you learn that the impact could be seven in a long run if the sponsor of the project wants to complete this project as soon as possible, you must refuse to take up the project. The answer is refuse to take up the project. Number 27, you are working a software development project in which specialized resources are required to perform some tasks. You estimate these resources are necessary during the project execution, executing piece. However, your estimation fails to account for this serial Resources are available for only limited hours in the executing, ex executing piece. What should you do to make a schedule change to deal with the limited availability? The answer is perform an impact analysis. Number 28, a project manager has completed identification of a stakeholder and has started planning for a flow instrument installed project in a hospital. While developing a project management plan, a team member states that a stakeholder in the X-ray department is missing from the stakeholder list. Which of the following would be the best response from the project manager? The answer is authenticate the information from the team member. Number 29, while using facilitated session to gather high-level business requirements for the software development project, one of your customer propose a requirements that may not be technological possible to meet. The, if the customer insists on the requirements, what should you do first? The answer is, you should listen to the customer and understand his viewpoint. Number 30. Last. 
you have just started leading a World Bank's healthcare development project in a developing country in which it is customary to offer lunch when a project is initiated. Although your team members are willing to accept the offer, you decide to refuse 